welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Deanna Troy Travels. Subscribe for travel related videos every week. So, as you can see today, we are all Vietnam pride. We have flags on our shirts, flags on our faces, and I even have some red and yellow eyeshadow on. Because today is the AFC U23 Championship Round. Woo! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know sports at all, like me and Cedric, AFC stands for Asian Football Confederation. And U23 just means that all the players are under 23 years old. And 16 Asian countries fought in the final tournament round. On January 23rd, Vietnam beat Cotter in the semifinal rounds. Woo! And even that one win was a huge deal for Vietnam, so people all over the country were going absolutely crazy. Here, take a look. Ooh, Vietnam number one! Vietnam number one! Wasn't that crazy? Oh my goodness. Thank you, Kelsey, for sending me this footage. Her channel is Sojourn Souls. I'll link it down below. But it was insane. Yeah, everybody was so excited that from inside our apartment on the fourth floor, we could hear cheers from across the city. Yeah, and this is so important to Vietnam because this is the farthest that Vietnam has ever gotten in this competition. They're actually the first team from Southeast Asia to make it to the championship. This is really important to Vietnam because before this, they are kind of like the underdogs of the AFC. Uh, they weren't really making any like big accomplishments or like major headlines, but now they're representing all of Southeast Asia, and it's been so heartwarming to see everyone's Vietnamese pride for their country, and I'm so excited to see what happens today. Today, Vietnam will be facing off against Uzbekistan in the championship round. Let's hope they win. Woo! Yay! <laughs> yeah, because if they win, it's, gonna, it's a historical moment, and it's never happened before in history, so we're going to see history in the making, and you guys are going to get to see it too, because we're bringing the camera with us. So, let's go to the game! Woo! Yeah. Woo! Here we are at Beach Stage in Da Nang. It's packed. Everyone's all dressed up. And we're going to see the game. Woo! And for Vietnamese, football is so important. It can uh, uh, bring everyone together, especially in uh, such a special event like this. It's not only for Vietnamese people, uh, but uh, the, the people all around the world love football. But and for a long time, Vietnam uh, come to a, a final match like this. And, this is a uh, history, historical uh, event for Vietnamese who love football like me. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the first time they ever got to the championship round, right? Yeah. First the time. first time uh, sure, uh, we come to a final match in a um, champion league. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. If they win, what will happen? Yeah. If if we win. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I I I cannot imagine what happens if we win tonight. Maybe uh, the Vietnam on around on around the world will uh, come come together to to cheer. Yeah, to encourage uh, ourselves, yeah, the song. Oh, cool! Vietnam for it! Vietnam for it! Vietnam for it!
Oh, so man. Close. So close. It was <laughs> almost in there. <laughs> Thì đây là một tình huống mà chúng ta có thể làm được. All right, it's still one to zero, but the goalie is blocking those goals from the other team, and they are not getting any more in so far. So that's good. Yay!
game has begun again. Yay! Hoàn thành. Tiến Dũng. Trọng tài thủ phạt cầu thủ của Uzbekistan. chúng ta U23 Việt Nam, oh, no, Việt Nam Việt Nam. Oh. chắc chắn là như vậy Xuân Trường cùng với các đồng đội đã yeah, chiến đấu tuyệt vời trong một trận đấu và có quá nhiều dành cho cao thủ U23 Việt Nam Đó là một gala để chào đón tại sân đấu quốc gia được trực tiếp trên kênh VTV6 từ lúc 19 giờ và vẫn có rất nhiều những tin vui dành cho người Việt Nam một lần nữa sẽ nhắc lại là NPK Phố Mỹ và nhãn hàng của tổng công ty phân bón và chất dầu khí đã tuyên bố thưởng 1 tỷ đồng và mời toàn bộ ban huấn luyện cũng như các người ta sang xem trận chung kết của World Cup năm 2018 và cùng với đó là rất nhiều rất nhiều những phần thưởng khác. But you still love Vietnam though. Vietnam. Yeah, yeah, I do too. <laughs> well, they still made it all the way to the championship. Yes. Vietnam and championship. Yes. Woo! Still, is that still making history? Yes. Yeah, first time yeah. they did that. So, uh, sad that they lost? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, because it's, yeah. it's a good news because they still yeah. made it that far. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. -bye. Bye. So Vietnam lost, yeah. and I'm going to preface this with I don't know anything about soccer, but what it kind of seemed like throughout the game is that uh, the Uzbekistan 
offense was really good, I guess. I mean, they were always putting the pressure on Vietnam. Uh, they had a lot more shots on goal. And I think the Vietnam, uh, the Vietnamese defense seemed to do really, really well because they kept stopping them at every turn. Yeah, the goalie just like blocked like everything. It was crazy. Yeah, so it seemed like the Vietnamese defense was spectacular. But what that meant was uh, the one goal that Vietnam got, I'm pretty sure it was a penalty shot. And uh, the, the game went there. I guess there was like a minute left in overtime. And if they had just managed to hold on a little longer. Oh, it would have gone to penalty oh, kicks, so close. which it seems like they're pretty good at penalty kicks. But uh, yeah, like it was such a minute left. Oh my goodness, it was such a close game. It was just like the whole everyone was just like like a buzz and yeah. So it was really sad. Uh, but everyone was kind of like ho hum and walking away, all sad. But yeah, and like we were really excited to like have everyone be excited and everything, but. You know, it, they still got it this far into the championship round, and that's like never been done before either. So yeah. we're still making history, and uh, it's still good news for Vietnam. Uh, the, you know, in general for the game and everything. Yeah, and I mean, it's the under 23. So if not too many of these players are moving out of this league, then maybe they'll do just as well next year or better. I mean, they've got a really good team right now. So yeah, we'll just have to see. Well, I hope you guys liked this vlog. It was so much fun dancing with everybody and like interviewing people. Yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more travel related videos every week. Hope that when I see you guys, maybe next time, they'll win. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Traveling in foreign countries promised land where adventures are hanging on the trees and you do not what you must but what you please yeah then you know you are a backpacker